Hello and welcome to my channel. Hope you're all feeling strong and well. Now, is a tarp shelter better than a tent? Let's talk about that. So I am in Dungeon Wood today. Uh, Dungeon Wood is in West Yorkshire, Huddersfield, my hometown, and it's very near to Lockwood. And uh, Dungeon Wood forms most of Beaumont Park, which was Huddersfield's first public park. So let me just say that uh, since I did the West Highland Way back in September 2021, um, I've really got the bug for the wild camping and the hiking. And it's gonna be really difficult during these winter months not to get the camping gear out and head for the hills. But I did promise myself when I started out with the wild camping, I made a mistake on Black Hill. Me and my last camped out and it was minus seven. So I did promise myself that I would stay with the three season camping. So there'll be no camping during the winter. Now, I think it's called Dungeon Wood because of the dark and oppressive feel that you might get as you walk through this vast wood. But uh, it's not as big as it used to be now due to the park being put here. And that takes away some of the uh, spookiness because we've got the lovely Beaumont Park just up there. And we're going to have a, a look through there as we walk around and have a chat. So for those who might be interested, I do have a new challenge for my hiking and wild camping coming up in 2022. Now, I will tell you more about my uh, wild camping and hiking challenge for 2022 nearer the time. You are gonna like it. Now, for this new challenge, I am going to need a much lighter backpack. The, uh, the backpack that I took on the West Highland Way, well, we all know how much it weighed, don't we? Do it, did I, I did mention it. I hope you're enjoying the scenery with the leaves, the autumn leaves, absolutely beautiful. Now, uh, I do own the Rab Ridge Raider bivy bag, and I've used that a few times. I didn't take that on the West Island Way because me and my last did that. And this challenge that I am doing in 2022, I will be on my own. So I'm going to use the Rab Ridge Raider bivy bag because I already own it. I don't really want to buy uh, much new stuff, but I have bought something new to go with the bivy bag. Is that creative? <laughs> It is spooky here in Dungeon Wood and uh, way back in 1812 um, the Luddites came through here and buried a couple of pistols and apparently they're still here buried somewhere and they were the very pistols used to uh, murder William Horsfall up there in uh, Crossland Moor. Now the downside to a bivy bag is of course its size. All you can do is sleep in it. Uh, you can't sit up in it so for a long distance hike it's going to be pretty uh, pretty grim when, when it's raining for long periods. Now, strangely enough, the good thing about them is the footprint, the size, again, that is actually a pro and a con. Because it's so small, you can pitch it almost anywhere. It's just the size of your actual self. So you can pitch that anywhere and, uh, and take shelter from the rain. And this brings me eventually, thankfully, to, uh, to my new purchase, which is the DD 3x3 tarp which is going to go with the bivy bag and that enables me to take shelter very quickly hopefully anyway i haven't even got it out of the bag yet the dd tarp that i bought comes in different colors and uh, i chose the coyote color because i think it'll go well with the rab ridge raider now it comes already with uh, four guy ropes and four pegs and hopefully that will be all i need because i am trying to cut down on the weight of my backpack i'm actually walking along an old railway line it's pretty cool. It was the Meltham Branch Line and in its latter years it was mainly used by the uh, David Brown Company who made the tractors and uh, at the outbreak of the uh, Second World War they were just getting going with the tractors and they also produced uh, vital gears for the uh, aircraft during the war and a lot of other gear manufacturers around the country. They'd been bombed out like in Doncaster, but uh, this area was never targeted. So uh, we got the vital gears through. So back to the tarp, the DD 3x3 tarp. Yes, the image has completely changed, hasn't it? Uh, my GoPro battery has run out and I can't actually get the, the media mod off because the, I've tightened the screw too much. So I uh, had to change to this mystery camera, this new camera that I am using now for vlogging as well. I will let you know one day what it is, but what an image, a lot better than the GoPro. Stabilization, not as good though, so maybe I'll be stood still a lot more. But back to the tarp, yes. Uh, the three x three DD 
tarp has 19 fixing points and that allows for different setups and configurations. Best 1080p footage you have ever seen. <laughs> and it's them setups and scenarios with the uh, tarp that I'm going to be practicing during the winter months, keep me out of trouble. Uh, and that includes the knots that I have to learn as well. That will make putting up the tarp and taking it down uh, a lot easier and quicker. So if you have any experience with a tarp, three by three in particular, uh, let me know what your favorite setup is. What's your favorite configuration? Have you got any tips for me using it with a bivy bag? So in future vlogs, I will be testing out your suggestions for setups and figuring out which is my favorite. And hopefully by the time the spring comes after the long dark winter, I will have mastered uh, a few setups and have a more versatile shelter to go with my bivy bag for my new challenge in 2022. I will be letting you know more about that. So that's about it for this one. I hope you have enjoyed the little look around Dungeon Wood, Beaumont Park. Um, where will I be next time? Well, I don't know the answer to that. Maybe I'll be setting up my tap. <laughs> but uh, I know I want you guys with me. So until the next one, bye.